Good morning guys, welcome to today's video. We are at Tim Hortons. We just got our coffee, but we're going to get horse grain, goat grain, chicken food, all that stuff because it's a long weekend starting today. All right, so we got our, our horse grain and then we have to go to a different feed store for goat grain and chicken pellets. Now the one store that sells all the horse grain sells chicken pellets. But they don't sell goat grain because I asked and I said, do you sell goat grain because it would make it a lot easier for me to go to one store. And you know what they said to me? No, we have some cow thing that, you, that people buy for their goat. <laughs> so anyway, so I went to the other place. We just got back from there to see what they had because we had to buy goat grain and chicken pellets. And they sell, so both places sell chicken pellets. The, the place where the goat grain is, they sell one of the bags of uh, horse feed, but not both. And I asked them, I said, do you sell the other horse grain? And they're like, no, we only have the one horse grain. It would make it easier if the other place ordered goat grain for me. Well, I should have maybe asked for them to order it. Because then I, you know, we go through about one bag a week, right? One bag a week, that's a lot of goat grain. But, so I might as well just buy a month's worth of goat grain. So get them to order four bags. So now we're on the hunt to get some skids. And when we went to the last place, they had skids, but they're all like really bad skids, all broken and stuff. So we're on the hunt to get more skids so we can um, build more goat things. So I'm gonna build one in the girl goat field and I wanna add on to the boy one. All right, we're at the skid factory, but there's only Garbage skids, nothing good. Good morning guys, welcome to today. So in Canada we have a long weekend on the May 24th weekend. It's Queen Victoria's birthday and we celebrate every year. So we have a long holiday weekend, I'm excited. In the past, we've always gone shopping. I've had my grandkids here. We've camped outside. Like, this is a big camping weekend. Everybody goes camping, but we're not going camping. Do you wanna go camping? No. Really, you won't sleep in the trailer with me? No. I've never slept in the trailer at this house. I'm not doing it. Unfortunately, my kids grew out of that. They literally grew out of it. So I don't know what we're gonna do, but I'm having a grandbaby really soon. In June, I'm having a grandbaby. We're having a horse, we're having two new goats. We're having another pig. Like, it's gonna be an exciting summer. And I can't wait to tell you about Sophie's horse. Like, there's so many things about Sophie's horse. I told you guys she's a Clydesdale cross. Can't wait to tell you what else she's crossed with. And I can't wait to tell you why I'm excited about what else she's crossed with. But, thanks Sophie, take it to the chicken coop. But, no matter what, the most thing, the thing I'm most excited about is her personality. Clydesdales have like uh, a reputation of being like a friendly, easygoing horse. And she is that. And then this other breed she's mixed with has the same kind of reputation, but she also, has personalities from the other breed that I love. Like she's alert and forward and like she's so excited to do stuff. Anyway, we're getting close to go to horse time. Um, but today, it's not today. So today I'm gonna try and figure out the last little bit of my chicken coop. I have a little bit left to clean out. I think like a week ago I showed you, I told you guys we were still like working on the goat barn. We're still working on the chicken coop and the chicken coop is almost done. We're taking out all the old crap and bringing in the new and I can only do it so many times in a row before my back gets sore. So I always have to take breaks, but today we're getting it done. We are all helping out. You got both uh, screws out. One of the last scoop. Sophie, get that last scoop. We got Gabby here. She's helping. Well, I bought a thing for the water. For the water. What did you buy? I bought a... I have to drill it into a bucket and that way you can fill the water up easier. All right. It's like, a, it's like this. The little scoops? The little cups? little cups around. Yeah, I wanted to try that. We can't let that silky lay on eggs because... You're going the right direction? Yeah, she's yeah. too little. We have a little silky under there. Plus, Silky let her babies freeze to death. Silkies are not good moms. Well, people well, say they are. Moms, but they're not. They're not smart chickens. They're not warm. All right, so I got all the straw out that we put in there. A year's worth of straw. Thanks, Gabby. I have this bucket and I like it better for a feeder. And the problem is, is that this bucket, 
So the lid, I can't get the lid off this bucket. So I like it better. The food lasts longer. They can put their head in there. But I like to have multiple feeders because we have a lot of chickens. What are you doing to my poor little dog? <laughs> that didn't work out. Now the pig is going to find this and be like, yes, it's Christmas. Yeah, maybe the chickens will eat it. I will hold it. I'm just going to scoop it with this thing. Scoop it with this. So I'm going to fill all of our buckets up with all of our food. And I'm going to see how long it lasts us. It's not beautiful, but it's cleaned out. <laughs> so my plan is to fill this whole thing. Now that I got all the hay out, I plan to fill it with a specific kind of sand that is easy to clean. It won't be warm, but I'll be able to clean it. All the, all the chickens have escaped. So I have Sophie and Gabby down there. They took that feeder down so that the chickens that are afraid to come in. I feel like these chickens are scared to come in the coop because the like, Meaner chickens are in the coop. So we have food down there for them. I'm just gonna get them a bucket. Well, they have the swimming pool that they all drink out of down there. So now they can eat while they're outside. There's our little goose, our little duck, I mean. I feel satisfied. I feel like we at least got a bunch of stuff clean. I, th I just feel good that this is clean. I mean, obviously it's got dirt in here, so it's not gonna be like, like your kitchen floor, but it's, it's got all the poop out, and that's what's mostly important. I'm gonna maybe buy that sand this weekend because it's a long weekend. We can do whatever we want. I'm gonna fill this whole area with the sand, that whole area. And I still want Sam to build me a little, another little coop here that I can put the little chickens in. I say we have something special to eat tonight because of all this work. What? You're gonna go get Subway? I know. So Sam always I orders order, us. Just I forget. What you want and I go, my usual. Yeah, Dad says, "What do you want to eat if we go to Subway?" And she says, "My usual." I say, "My usual." He's got all the orders in his Your head. Your usual changes. I've never changed what I eat. I know. I That's like me. Never. Because yours changes all the time. You so we don't buy know. Your food and like no, I eat the same thing like every single year, day. Like, I want, I want my usual cake okay. this year, and that's like Black Forest. That's what you got last year and the year before that and you're like no carrot cake my usual. carrot cake is my new normal it's my but new before usual before it was black forest cake. i really want carrot all cake right, now silky and see she has an egg all right that little girl lays green eggs I this gray it. one right there out. you're not good at catching one. chickens do you guys know when gabby was a little girl <laughs> She used to kick chickens. I'm talking when she was two. I literally just happened to peek out this little door and you won't believe what I saw. That's it right there in that new feeder. That thing can smell food from a mile away. Is she actually, is she, is she oh my gosh, she knocked it over. Ugh. The pig has to go back in with the goat. You have to put her back in with the goat. She's going inside. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Sometimes the pig is a lot. I've watched her squish through so many areas, you wouldn't believe it. Like, everybody's freaking out now. Honey's running. <laughs> no, anytime you carry the pig. <laughs> get the pig. I left her in the goat area. Watch this. And the honey's still running. Everybody's excited when the pig is squealing. Don't grab a net. <laughs> Pick it up. Gabby and Sophie are gonna go pick up dinner for us. This is the first time Sam's cutting the grass. I'm be gonna be working around the yard. Tuna salad. Oh my god, this is a lot. It's a tuna salad wrap. Tell Sophie to order okay, it. Well, that's not. 
just a tuna salad wrap. It's a tuna salad wrap with cheese and a little mayo, lettuce, two white chocolate macadamia burr cookies, and a white cho and a chocolate milk. Not chocolate, not burr cookies. Not, not cookies. Well, it's a B U R. And <laughs> it's supposed to say nut. She only has one letter correct. <laughs> All right, go get us dinner and we'll keep working. Wait, why do you need cookies like and a chocolate milk? Like, I just feel like that. That's my order. Yeah, Sophia. I'm coming with you. Yeah, what do you get? You're she not like spending an hour deciding while they're waiting Steak for us to order. Steak and cheese sub with extra pickles. Huh? Steak, Steak and, and cheese sub with extra pickles. Steak. Comment below, guys. What's your Subway order? We are going into this long weekend strong. Sam cut all the grass. Here comes a chicken. <laughs> you guys can't see him, but Sam is down there cutting a trail all around the property and he cut our trail that we go walking on. I'm so excited. This is the first weekend of our season. So like I said, hi. <laughs> she always comes to me even when I don't need her. Oh, you need a mask on. Where's your fly mask? Everybody else? Well, some people have fly masks on, some horses. Where's yours and yours? Getting grouchy because he's near her. Oh, stop, let's go get you a fly mask. Like I said, it's the start of our season, which basically means like it's riding season. The ground is kind of drying up. It's supposed to rain this afternoon though, so this weekend I wanna go on a trail ride. Aha. Uh -huh. I bet you she doesn't let me put it on her. This is actually the one I think I sewed. Oh no, this is small. There's hers. Oh no, it has a rip. Actually, I'm gonna take it in and wash it because once the eyes get dirt on them, it makes it hard for her to see. We have been letting the water go down in our water thing so that we can clean them this weekend. Did you get the path cleaned? Yeah, the trail's cut until I broke the lawnmower. <gasps> you broke the lawnmower, but did it get cut? Just the belt. The belt broke. But did you get it cut? Yeah, majority of it. Okay. So we need a new belt? Okay, so Sam, we did so much this last few weeks. We were ready for summer. We're ready for the season, except for one big job. Do you know what it is? No. Coming to show you. So even though this area has been abandoned for grass um we need to drag it so my plan is just to push all the dirt down there with your tractor the hole. yeah there's like a hole down there we can take down those fences they're just a hazard and mm -hmm. so i think we should do that this weekend because this is the last weekend before all heck breaks loose because life's gonna get wild that's the plan uh when sylvie's horse comes my plan is that we'll probably lock the other horses out of this area and let her have this area and put one horse with her. Does that sound like a good plan? So I'll pick a friend that I think will be like the best friend for her. Well. Yeah. <laughs> it's gonna be Willow or Penny. Those are our choices. Penny, it would be good for her to like have a new friend that's a girl, but this horse is really like, she attaches herself. She's really like, not the well she's the high girl in her field right now there's not a lot of horses in her field so everybody kind of hides behind her she's not like a chicken but she bonds really closely like she's a bonding girl so i need like a horse that wants to bond with her willow kind of stays on her own and penny kind of stays on her own gracie has a baby so i'm gonna have to buy another horse just to be friends with the horse no just joking done that before lived that life before but anyways um, and that's my plan is to put her in here because then I can close this gate and they can get used to each other through the through the fence there. She can have this part of the barn where she can go in there. They can see each other. It'll all be separate for the first little while. That way we'll kind of have like an idea of what it's gonna, like what's gonna happen, who to keep her away from. Hi guys. We have a new horse coming next week. Which one of you guys wants to volunteer to be her friends? Her friend. Storm's like, I'll do it. It could be Storm, but Storm is... 
not that good at that stuff. Ah, oh, baby, she loves to see me. I'm coming. You guys honestly have no idea how excited I am for this season. Storm just threw water all over my hand. Spit water all out at me. She's a little bit dirty. I'm excited though. Penny should be able to fit this purple mask. Let's see if I can get it on her. I have my huge list of things that I want to accomplish this summer. I'm keeping it close and I'm excited to get started. And it's gonna start this weekend with a trail ride. I'm sad that we don't have Sophie's horse here because it would be so amazing if all three of us could go on a trail ride together. Sophie will probably walk one of her ponies. But I would love that. Like next weekend, actually I don't know if we'll be ready by next weekend because I don't want to just bring her here and throw a saddle on her and get going. I want her to adjust and settle in first. But <gasps> so exciting. Don't you know that you're beautiful?